Hey, what's going on? There have been a lot of changes over the last couple of months, whether it's from YouTube to personal life. This is one of the biggest changes I think we could have possibly made as, as a family and potentially with some ingenuity, this channel. <laughs> There's somebody I want you guys to meet and you've probably seen it from the thumbnail, the title. She is the most beautiful thing of my kids and my missus. She's the most beautiful thing I have ever owned that has fur. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump to some B-roll. Let you guys meet Roxy for the first time, dude. We made the right decision. Enjoy the video. So Roxy is, how old are you? Roxy is nine weeks old now. We're gonna get her jabs next week that she needs to get done. When we got her, I was really concerned that, you know, we have kids, so are we gonna have enough time to take her on walks two, three times a day? I was worried how she was gonna be with the kids. Was she gonna be really well behaved? What if the kids start pulling her about and stuff like that? Walking her, she's already in a great routine. Morning and evening, I take her out for anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, which just gives her time to get to know the area, exercise quite a bit. I don't let her go into the grass because she hasn't had all of her jab, so I don't want her getting mange or anything like that. It's just more of a precaution. But yeah, we uh, she runs fine. She doesn't pull when she walks in a straight line, but when she she gets kind of scared and freaked out. She'll just kind of sit still and refuse to move until I kind of comfort her, give her, give her a bit of a cuddle. But for the most part, she was good. Come here. Training is going great. She knows how to sit, pour, lay down, all the, all the super basic stuff. I make sure I get the eye contact and yeah, she's really good. Roxy, good girl. Yes, well done, good girl. I mean, the only ongoing concerns that we have with having a pup is the obvious ones, money, stability, are we always gonna be able to look after her? But we have three kids, so no matter what we do in life, we're always gonna have that constant pressure now. Uh, <laughs> I think it will do the kids a lot of good as well, you know, learning to respect animals. Like Darcy, she's nearly two years old. She pulls on her tail a little bit, brushing her and stroking her, but she's doing a bit too hard, so we're kind of teaching her at a young age, you know, you have to really respect animals and respect their boundaries. If she's sleeping, you leave her alone. If she's eating her dinner, back off. You, know, you can play with her afterwards, but just for that short period of time, let her have her own space. I've had dogs in the past. I've had a Labrador, I've had Collies. I've had uh, Cross with a Great Dane, I think, at some point. I loved them all. I've always had a thing for dogs. They're just always been part of my life, part of my family. It's nice to be able to pass that down to my kids. Toilet training's a weird one because for the first couple of days we couldn't take her outside so we put down the puppy pads. I know it was a bad idea to put them down in the first place but I would rather have her do a business in one place rather than all through the house where the kids are gonna be running about. So she's figured out, okay, so I need to pee on this mat, which is constantly in the dining room. We don't really use it very much. So that's her space at the moment. And we just kind of let her roam the room whenever she wants to. The issue now is getting her to transition as we're going out walking more, which is getting more comfortable with it. Getting her to transition, knowing it's okay to do a business outside rather than inside all the time. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. The only other thing that we're really gonna be doing is when she has her jabs and she's a little bit older, go on proper runs together. I wanna try and I wanna try and collaborate with her to get fit. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we do like three or four mile runs every day because I know you can handle it. Yes, you were born for this kind of stuff. I'm not looking forward to the summer, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that they molt 
a lot because they have a double coat. And she doesn't really like being brushed either. I don't know whether it's just because that's something new to her and she'll get used to it, but she's a gorgeous dog. I'm just so happy that we got her. And me and Yaz, we were both so between minds because we already had a lot of pressure with the kids, with work and, and everything else that we had going on. It's like, I think we made the right decision for sure. Roxy, come here. Do you want to say goodbye? Can we say goodbye? Come here. Come here. Can we say goodbye? Say thank you for watching the video. I love you. I love you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I know it's nothing like what we normally do on the channel, but it was a big sort of change in my life. Figured I'd share it with you. You're beautiful. I love your face. I'll catch you in the next one.